in the air. Take it! What a catch! Oh, and there's another one. It's the stars, they're on fire. Well, I guess you've got to start with that coin toss. Yeah, they got it wrong after a magnificent season. They only dropped three games. They were the dominant team. They got through to the final. They batted first and lost to the Thunder. And it's a goal by the way through and has the Thunder race onto the ground. So can they put that heartbreak behind them underneath a new coach in Jared Lofman and the superstar that is Meg Lenny. Oh my word, Nat Sibber, take a bow! They'll be hoping to fill five big outs. The tour to Pakistan by England means no Nat Sibber, no Catherine Blunt as well. Mignon Dupri has gone down south to the Hobart Hurricanes, no Holly Furling, and another huge loss for them is Alana King, both with bat and ball across west. So that's five outs. Ireland international, Kim Garth, comes in, they're going to need the senior players to step up, but for me, the youngsters, their junior players, a chance to shine. Flintoff getting it bang on target. Yeah, basically straight back over the umpire's head. Well, most people think key players, Blarney Lanning, yeah? Yeah, well, tick, tick, we know them. They just produce runs each and every season. But for me, the key player, Annabelle Sutherland. She's got experience now within the Australian setup. She's fantastic with bat and ball. Can the all rounder deliver for the Melbourne Stars this season? Oh, with confidence, at least for Lani, if you don't mind. When you look at the 11 for the Melbourne Stars, you look at the batting lineup, particularly one, two, and three, and you think, yep, tick, tick, tick. I look down the bottom end of the 11, though, and look at a very young bowling unit. Led by Erin Osborne, who has years of experience, I think if this young bowling unit can step up, that'll really shift things for the Melbourne Stars. Take down and run out, good stuff, and fantastic. This is some innings. And she's seeing the Stars home.